All right, this one is about soft press and hard press, man. The Aryan Front and the Aryan Brotherhood. Soft press and hard press. I'm giving y'all game right now. Soft press and hard press. I'm pointing that out because I want y'all to understand that this game is to be sold, not told. Check it out so you understand how to get to the proper cash app. All right? Special announcement, man. This is what my cash app looked like. It must have that green checkered box to the right of my name. No picture of me. None of that. This is exactly what my cash app looked like. Once you put in unique, make a haul, and you get ready to send it. It must have that green checkered box. Let's get this thing going. All right. All right. Now, we are ready to ride. Soft press and hard press, Aryan front and Aryan brotherhood. Pay attention, unique mecha audio giving you game that's supposed to be sold, not told. So please respect the game. Now, we got the Aryan front and the Aryan brotherhood. That's two, uh, you know, white gangs in the prison. Now, we out in Lump Park, California. Let me explain to you. Soft press is when you befriend somebody. You know what I mean? And you soft press them. I'm even going to throw another one in there called self-pressing. <laughs> okay? Self-pressing. So you got hard press and soft press. Soft press is where you befriend someone and act like you they friend in order to, you know, softly press them out of what you want. Hard press is when you go up to somebody and say, yo, you're going to give me this or I'm not going to take your life. Bottom line. You know? Blood. You know what I mean? Or you know what it is. <laughs> you know? That's hard press. Soft press, you befriend them. Hard press, you tell them what it is. Then you got self press. Self press is when someone is scared of someone. And they press themselves. Pressing themselves meaning they looking out for somebody that they normally wouldn't look out for. That's self press. That's like, oh, yeah, you need, um, you need something from the store. I'm going to the commissary. You know, you don't owe me nothing. You don't need to ask me nothing. You don't need to get me nothing. You know what I mean? But you scared that I might do something to you, so you self-press yourself in order to pay an extortion. Pressing is another word for extortion. Pay attention. Pressing is another word for extortion. So if I say, you know, I'm going to press this dude, that means I'm going to extort him. Cash app on the screen. Game is to be sold, not told. Now, I'm going to I'm gonna hard press this nigga because I think he's a bitch. You know? So I move on him and be like, yo, what's up? Yo, when you go to the commissary, uh, here go my list. Get me this. You know? So now he has an opportunity to tell you, get up out of here or pull his knife out or just bust you in the mouth with his fist if he ain't got his knife. That's his choices. You know? Whatever he choose, let you know how the scheme is going to play out. If he swing, you know, you F him up in the cell, you know what I mean? And tell him, nah, nigga, you got no choice, you're going to get that. You know what I mean? Soft press is, yeah, yeah, homie, come on, you ready? Let's go to the child hall. And you walk to the child hall with him. Come on, homie, let's go work out in the yard. Take him to the yard and you go work out with him. That's soft pressing, you know what I mean? And then when commissary day come, you say, hey, y'all, um, I need a couple of items, homie. My money didn't come yet. And they look out, you know? That's soft press. Now, we got an Aryan front. Give you a story. We got an Aryan front that's, soft pressing uh, a regular white dude that's not connected to anything. So he's soft pressing the white dude. So he take him to the yard, he work out, he walk with him to the child hall, you know what I mean? He cook food with him at night, you know, he watch the TV with him, he make sure he got a spot next to him so he can watch TV because otherwise he can't get in that area to be able to see the TV up close because there's so much people. But you tell him, yo, homie, come on, I got a seat for you down here. You know what I mean? All that is a part of soft pressing, man, soft extortion, you know? So it was a regular white dude that come in. His girl come regular, and she bring the pack. Bringing the pack mean bringing drugs. The pack is drugs. See, I'm giving y'all a good game. Cash app on the screen. You know what I mean? Make sure it got the little green checkered box next to my name because they duplicated my name to make them look exactly alike with the Waynesworth Hall and the dollar sign unique mecha hall like you see on the screen. 
but go for the one that got the direct, you know, little green check it box, you know, that's mine. They didn't figure out how to duplicate that yet. So it's a little cat and mouse game, but you know, God always bless me and bring me in front of those that try and take advantage. So I'm going to see you. But anyway, so you got the soft press and you got the hard press, you know? So dude soft pressing him where he hanging out with him, he he cooking with him, laundry day, he come wake him up and say, yo, you know, it's laundry day, get your laundry together, homie, and you know what I mean? He act like he's his friend, he's soft pressing him. Dude going on a visit, he getting balloons, he getting a pack, he coming in, and he breaking the dude off that soft pressing him with some of the dope that he getting off the visit from his girl coming up doing what she's supposed to do. Yes, I said doing what she's supposed to do, so you haters and trolls don't understand, I'm tapping into the mentality of being in prison serving a lengthy sentence. Whether it's life, 40 years, 15 years, five years, or whatever, you know? So these are little mechanisms that we got to do, just like we work the pen pal thing. If y'all want to hear about the pen pal role, how we work the females from the inside, keeping it raw, you know what I mean? You know, a lot of people going to get their feelings about that one, so that's why I didn't really get into that yet. But if you want to know how we work the pen pal thing, Hit me up, make sure you put the little emoji, do what you got to do, and most of all, don't forget, you know, we got this right here. Special announcement, man. This is what my cash app looked like. It must have that green checkered box to the right of my name. No picture of me, none of that. This is exactly what my cash app looked like. Once you put in unique, make a haul, and you get ready to send it, it must have that green checkered box. Let's get this thing going. I that's how the cash app look now you know gotta have that little green box right so check so you fully understand dude saw pressing him you know dude getting the pack he going out and i'm talking about when he going out on a visit every week he getting like three four maybe five thousand dollars worth of heroin and he breaking off the dude that's holding the seat for him you know waking him up for laundry you know walking with him to the kitchen going to work out with him in the yard, but that's too much work. You know, I like to just tell a dude straight up, yo, you get in the pack, but when you get that, I need this, and that's it. You know what I mean? If you ain't got that, get your knife. You know? I mean, bottom line, you know, that's how I like to just do it, to get right to the point. I don't have time to be walking around holding no man's hand, babysitting, and all that crap. So you fake young niggas, you know what I mean? No disrespect to the real young niggas that's watching. But to the fake young niggas that think it's sweet in the prison, you're going to have a nigga push up on you like that. You're going to say, yeah, I'll stab your old ass. Yeah, well, that's what you're going to have to do. I remember when I was in Trenton State Prison. It was a dude, they moved in a dude with a, what they call a booty bandit. You know what I mean? They moved him in a cell with a booty bandit. And the booty bandit tells the man straight up, you know? He said, look, you know tonight, you know, you my bitch and you effing in here tonight, you know? Dude said, man, over my dead body, you know what I mean? That's what he told him, you know, as he should. He said, over my dead body. So, you know, the booty bandit looked at him and he said straight up, looked him dead in the eyes. He said, big bro, that's what I'm in here for, you know? For having sex with a corpse. I killed the bitch, you know, and then I ran up in her. So it ain't nothing for me to kill you and run up in you. So whatever you want to do, you do. So, you know, you won't hear that story. You put it in the emoji again. You know what I mean? But that's how that played out. That's how raw it is in prison. That was in Trenton State Prison, though. Dude told him straight up, man. You know what I mean? I'm in here for, you know, raping a, 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 a dead person. So to kill you up in here and rape you ain't nothing. So let's just get that straight. You know, that's how he tapped him. You know, just so you understand. But then now... So dude getting the uh you know getting the pack, he bringing it in, he breaking them off. You know, they both going to the commissary buying sweatsuits, sneakers, all the newest sneakers. They, you know, they lock a fat, they got the mackerel, they got the fish, they got everything you could think of. They living good, you know? But then here comes, you know, that was the area in front. But now a a, a new aggressive Aryan Brotherhood comes to the compound. So when the Aryan Brotherhood comes to the compound, he tells the uh, you know, the mule, that's what we call him. We call him a mule when they bring in the pack in. He tells the mule straight up, you know. He said, look, you know, you get in the pack, you know, this is what I want, you know what I mean? And that's what it is, you know. But then he thought about it. He said, damn, he being soft-pressed, so he goes for the soft-pressure. So let me, er, 
back that up and ride a little different. You know, we like to ride. That's where I get the riding from, from in the penitentiary, because you got to change gears when you're dealing with certain things. So dude told dude, you know, now, you know, come on, let's go to the child hall. So he go get him five minutes early and the normal dude would get him, walk him to the child hall, dude get up, go to the cell, look for him, and he gone. You know what I mean? So he looking all around the unit, he asking everybody where to do that, and he telling them, oh, he already left with, you know, the Aryan Brotherhood. You know, so dude in his body. So now they already talked in the kitchen, you know, while they was walking up there. And he said, yo, get your stuff. I'm going to show you a different workout. That workout he showed you ain't going to really help you to join. I'm a dude going to do for you. So they come back. But mind you, dude went late to eat. So by the time he comes back, the Aryan Brotherhood then took dude out to the yard. He working out with him. Dude come back from eating. And he looking for dude to tell him time to go work out. And they tell him he not dead. He go to the yard, him and the Aryan Brotherhood working out. So the Aryan front dude looking like, hold up, dude trying to step on my toes. I got to get this dude, <laughs> you know? So this is how it is. You know what I mean? So you go in prison and, you know, you, you got your little love when your girl coming in, doing what she got to do. It's like this. We coming to get you. We're coming to get you. You know what I mean? And whatever you eat, we eat. If we don't eat what you eat, then we're going to put you to sleep. You understand that? That's how that go. I mean, this is real as it get. So all you young, tough guys out there listening, yeah, get your knife sharpened, get your, you know, hey, go to karate class. Go to Kimbutu class. Learn how to throw a kick. You know what I mean? Learn how to push a knife. Because you're going to have to. You go in this prison and you think that you're going to get something and there's going to be no wolf there to try and benefit from what you got, you know, because you're going to be pressed. That's how it is. When you get in the pack, you're going to be pressed. You know what I mean? Let me give you another example. When you get in the pack, you know what I mean? You might not be pressed, but, you know, you got to do something that could, you know, you know, borderline called even self-extortion. Self-extortion is, you know, uh, in that borderline sense that I'm saying is getting a team around you. A team of dudes that you know is going to protect you that if anything go down, they're going to jump out there. Because you get in the pack, so you're dealing with everybody on the jail, and you got what no one else wants. So it's like somebody standing on, you know, standing in the projects, you know, um, over there, you know, in a killer ward, you know, with a bag of diamonds or a bunch of chains on his neck. And nobody don't know him. He just moved in the neighborhood, and he walking through the projects with a bunch of chains on his neck and a big bag of diamonds in his hands. You already know somebody's going to try and get at him. And you don't know if they're going to soft press him, hard press him, or, you know what I mean, he's going to self-press himself. Self-press himself when he meets somebody in the neighborhood that he feels is official that holds everything down. And then now he looks out for them. And that's not really soft pressing. That's just called building your team. Because if you're going on a visit, getting a pack, and you eating, you got to make sure your homie's eating. Your homie's eating mean that... You know, when you go get something, you break them off, you know what I mean, with a, with, with, with a half a gram or whatever, so he could bag it up, make some money. And then if any problems come, any future problems come, then you know he there to hold you down. You know what I mean? That's why some, you know, I would say, you know, some some suckers would try and label that, you know what I mean, as, uh, you know, uh, self-pressing because he's looking out for the homies. But no, you're supposed to look out for the homies, you know? When I went in Harlem, I made sure I looked out for everybody, you know, that was good men that followed my rules and principles and codes of the game. I made sure they ate because if I allowed them to eat to be able to elevate up the food chain, I would be able to, uh, you know, go to them when I'm in need. I want to be able to go to somebody and say, yo, I got to sell for two keys, but my joint all the way up in the Bronx. Let me get two keys real quick. I, you know, I, I, I get you back to two keys or, you know, I'll pay you the, you know, the wholesale price so I can make the profit. You know what I mean? And you want somebody to be able to do that for you. And he don't mind letting you make the profit because you're the one that helped to get him in the situation that he's in to have the two keys to be able to give you so that you can eat. Pay attention. I mix the street with the hood and it all go together. That's why, you know, I'm really thinking about, I think I'm going to do it that King Vaughn and FBG Duck talk about what a gang is. You know what I mean? For y'all don't understand that, you know, a lot of people like joining gangs, things like that. You know, your choice. But just know that there's rules and codes and principles and morals that go with being a gangbanger. 
And from those rules, principles, morals, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, and, and, and honor of being a gangbanger is what, you know, is why I say that the European trapped something that did the drawing on King Vaughn violated when he called him a serial killer. And like I said, if you want me to break that down, I'll break that down further. You know what I mean? I'm leaning towards doing it. I got a lot of people DMing me to do it. But I just want y'all to get prepared because when y'all hear that King Vaughn joint that, you know, I'm planning on dropping, you know, in your law, you know, it's going to blow your mind. It's going to get a lot of, a lot of uh, comments, you know, positive and negative for y'all to talk about. But remember this, keep it respectful. Cash app on the screen. Little greenhouse on the side, like, you know what I mean? Check it box. You know, that's the only way you know it's mine. So now, dude taking dude in the yard, he working out, he doing what he got to do, and he just, you know, I, I mean, he's doing a good job, the Aryan Brotherhood. So now, the Aryan front dude, he trying to get at the Aryan Brotherhood uh, uh, dude, but the Aryan Brotherhood dude too aggressive. You know what I mean? He too aggressive for him, you know? So he couldn't just run up on him with the knife and hit him because if he ran up on him, hit him with the knife, they both go to hold and somebody else going to grab the mule and they both going to be out. So he had to come up with a strategic plan to be able to execute separating the Aryan Brotherhood from his prize pony. Y'all going to be the prize pony. You go to prison and think you're going to get drugs and not have to deal with none of this. So that's why I'm giving you all these jewels. And that's why I said the cash app on the screen. Now, so you understand. Now, dude turns around and he know he can't run up on him with the knife. So what he do is he go and he get dude and he befriends the Aryan Brotherhood dude. And he's talking to him like, man, yo, everything cool. We could both eat off him. You know what I mean? They get money. He he get like, you know, five balloons, two grams in each. He getting 10 grams a week. If he give me two balloons, you two balloons. I was getting four balloons, but I ain't got a problem breaking my two balloons off with you and just keeping the other two out to four balloons. And we all eat. So, you know, the Aryan Brotherhood, he good with that. He just coming on the compound. He walking into a lick. He ain't got to call home for nothing. He ain't got to need nothing to put in his locker. So it sounds like a good plan. So the Aryan Brotherhood goes with it. Y'all put in the comments how y'all think this going to play out. You know what I mean? Y'all think y'all put how you think it's going to play out. And in between that, you know, why you put in the comments to give you time to get your comments in? I'm going to give you a street scenario dealing with the same thing. Now, a dude steps off, you know, the front stoop, you know, front of the building, you know, or in the projects or wherever, uh, the, the porch, you know, I mean, if they're outside, down south, and he getting money and he's selling drugs now. So now he's selling drugs and he making a bag of money. He don't get high. He go to school every day. He a good kid. He ain't into nothing. The police ain't even watching him because he got his nice little fade and he wear just a t-shirt, you know what I mean? And a pair of jeans and he blend in and he looks presentable and he carries a little book bag on his back or he got a couple of books in his hand so the police think he walking back and forth from school so he doing good and he getting money, you know? So then now here goes somebody knowing that this nigga soft, he old good boy and he ain't supposed to be on the block in the first place once this get him getting money and here go the wolf not getting money. So the wolf got a choice of either soft pressing him, walk with him, say, yo, you all right, where you going? Yo, here, you want to smoke a joint? Yeah? You feel like something to drink and go to the store, go get him a Heineken, a Guinness Stout, or you know, yeah, I said a Guinness Stout, you know, whatever it is. And, you know, y'all just chilling, you know, you befriend him and you talk to him about, you know, the neighborhood, the block, about school, what's his life going to be like, and you befriend him and you got him feeling real good. And then right there, that's where a dude hits him up and say, yo, I'm trying to get an outfit to go to the Apollo this weekend. You know what I mean? Uh, won't you take me down to uh, AJ Lester's? Yeah, AJ Lester's. So that, you know, you can cop me an outfit so we could both go there looking good. Because, you know, my hustle ain't really on right now. And you got the block popping. You know, so dude, nine times out of ten. I said, ah, yeah, I'll take him down there and spend a little 500 a G. Get him a little outfit from AJ Lester. Yeah, that's what it cost back then. So now, he go down there and get him the outfit so they could go to the joint. You know, or dude roll up on him and said, yo, bottom line, you know, either you cut me in, you know what I mean? Or I'm going to murder you. You know, that's the hard press. Get right to the point. Hard and to the point. Yo, I need this bag. You getting this bag. Nigga, you going to have to break me off. You know what I mean? And if a nigga say anything, you know what I mean? You bust him in the mouth. You know what I mean? Didn't I say break me off, nigga? What part of that you didn't understand? Give me that. 
You know what I mean? Give me that. Empty your pockets, nigga. Matter of fact, give me them chains on your neck. You know? And that's how you go at them. So I'm just letting y'all know this is how aggressive it get. You get in your pocket, nigga. You know what I mean? Matter of fact, I like them sneakers, nigga. Take them sneakers off or give me some money now to go buy a pair of those. Give me 200 to go get them Jordans. You know? And you take that. That's the hard press. You know? So, you know, let, 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 let me ride back because we had 20 minutes. I'm watching my time. So now... And excuse me for kissing my teeth, but I'm in my look at Jamaican zone, so I don't even play that no blood clot mine. So now, dude tells dude, you know, that, you know, everything good, he's eating with him, you know, I mean, the area in front, Aaron Brotherhood coming together, they both walk at work in a lane that's not connected to no brand. That's what they call the gang out there, the brand. And I'm going to give you all a video about how serious it is for them to get in those uh, 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 brands where they tell them they got to get their bones. You know, y'all know what they got to do to get their bones? Put in the comments what they got to do to get their bones, man. What does, you know, a Aryan Brotherhood got to do in order to get their bones? You know, put that in the comments. I'm going to give you a video about that sometime this week I'm thinking about, you know. So now, again, dude's sitting there and, you know, he befriend them, everything good. So now they go eat, you know what I mean? Together, they come back, you know, the Aryan Brotherhood, the Aryan Front, and the Mule. All three of them walking together to hit them all. But mind you, the Aryan Front was originally getting four grams a week. Now he's getting two grams a week because he got to break off the Aryan Brotherhood that he don't even know. So he got to figure out a way to get him outside of his bag, you know what I mean? And still, you know, remain on the compound but show the Mule that he's willing to hold him down, and this is what it is, and he's his man for him to keep the wolves up off him. You know what I mean? Because he's his friend. <laughs> That's what he calls him, his friend in the soft press. You know, you make him believe you're your friend. So don't think that everybody smiling in your face is your friend, because those are the same ones will stab you in your back, the ones that's right up close to you. You know, listen, in the prison... You know, I'm going to talk about in the prison because y'all think about it from the street point of view because I'm just coming out here, so I don't know how it is in 2023. Now, in the prison, you know, a dude is going to befriend you and only problems you're going to have in the prison, nine times out of ten, nine times out of ten, the only problems you're going to have in the prison is going to be with one of your homies. It's not going to be from an outside race or outside geographical location. None of that. It's going to be with one of your homies. It's going to be with some. Let me get close. Let me get close. It's going to be with somebody. Pay attention. Only beef you're going to have nine times out of ten in federal prison, you know, is going to be with somebody that you called your friend. Be careful who you label a friend. You could be a friend to someone, but that don't mean he's being a friend back to you or he's even capable of being a friend back to you y'all paying attention to this i'm giving y'all game cash app on the screen man let me give y'all the little thing again because I, I don't think y'all understand how valuable this is special announcement man this is what my cash app look like it must have that green checkered box to the right of my name no picture of me none of that this is exactly what my cash app look like once you put in unique, make a haul, and you get ready to send it, it must have that green checkered box. Let's get this thing going. All right? Green checkered house. All right? Now, let's go. So, you know, they be friends with each other. Let me ride into the point now, because I've been, you know, just giving y'all enough to give y'all, you know, your mental a chance to absorb what I'm saying. So now... The Aryan Brotherhood and the Aryan Front, they both pressing, you know, the, the 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 no brand dude. And the Aryan Front dude really trying to get rid of the Aryan Brotherhood, but he's trying to figure out a strategic plan to do it and still remain on his compound, but still keep his name clean and still keep the mule in his pocket. You understand? So he tells the Aryan Brotherhood, yo, he just came with this new stuff, but I got this other dude I'm pressing. He got the bomb diggity dope. Yeah. You know what I mean? He said, but you know, come on, let's go shoot some of this shit. So they go in the cell, the Aryan Brotherhood, the Aryan Front, the Aryan uh, Front, he gives him a little, you know, a little hit, you know, but he makes sure it's that fire. So he gets them nice and high, you know. As soon as the Aryan Front dude starts to nod out, as soon as he starts to nod out, you know what I mean? 
the area in front dude pulls the knife for Akang and get to working him. I mean, he's broken him. He stabbed him everywhere but loose. The joint is completely bloody, you know? But the police is so corrupt. You understand what I'm saying? Being that it happened in the cell, they didn't see it, it ain't no investigation, whatever you see happening, unless the Aryan Brotherhood tells that this inmate stabbed him, the Aryan front gonna get away with it. They both go to the shoe, they both go to the thing. Dude say, the uh, Aryan front say, man, um, I went to visit him in his cell and it was blood everywhere. You know what I mean? Blood everywhere. So that's what it is. Now the police find him in a pool of blood and they see him coming out the cell, so they try and blame him for it. But when the Aryan Brotherhood come to, he said, did the Aryan front dude stab you? Aryan Brotherhood, straight man, says, no, he didn't stab me. I slipped and fell. <laughs> you slipped and fell on a knife 20-something times, <laughs> you know? This is what the, the, the DHO, the disciplinary hearing officer, you know, is asking him. You slipped and fell on a knife 20-something times. He said, yeah. Cause that's how it is on unique time, called man time. Remember, unique time is equivalent to man time. All right, that's how we gonna brand this so we get this right. So, dude wears, you know, the twenty-something stabbings, and figure I'ma catch him again in another spot, which he's not, cause they gonna put a separate tease. But the Aryan Brotherhood got other Aryan Brotherhoods in other jail, so all he gotta do is send word to that person to get at him. Or even send somebody in the very jail that we at to get at him to say, dude, you know, put his hands on another Aryan Brotherhood. And, you know, only person allowed to put their hands on any brand is that brand to get away with it without deadly repercussions. So you youngins watching this understand. That's why I say don't go to jail, don't get involved. But two stabs, it was up real bad and he winds up in the shoe, you know. He, you know, he, he, he told the administration when they came, nah, I slipped and fell on a knife 20-some time. Dude ain't had nothing to do with it. And he's just praying he get a chance to see him again himself. But if not, he's comfortable, you know, sending the prison what we call kite. You know what I mean? To another prison saying, Aryan Front Joe did this to me. He's on his way to your prison. When he get there, they waiting for him. dun 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 so y'all want the rest of that, y'all tune in. Go to my Roco channel, go to my podcast, and download the audio for my podcast is all I'm asking y'all. Go download something for my podcast over at Spotify and all major podcast network at Unique Mecha Audio, Roco at Unique Mecha Audio. Got the book of Burn Harlem. I got my merch doing good. I want to thank everybody for being there. And this is just a little Monday morning eye opener. All right, but let me give you this so in case y'all, you know, dealing with the cash app situation I'm dealing with. Remember, you see the green check getting ready to come up in the joint? That's the only cash app that comes to me. Don't worry about the same name and all that. Let's go. All right. Special announcement, man. This is what my cash app looked like. It must have that green checkered box to the right of my name. No picture of me. None of that. This is exactly what my cash app looked like. Once you put in unique, make a haul, and you get ready to send it, it must have that green checkered box. Let's get this thing going. All right? All right, so we back. So that's what it is, you know what I mean? So y'all understand, let's get this thing popping. You know what I mean? Let me hit you with this uh, outro, and we're going to tap out. Let's go share these videos, man. Like, and if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. All right? Attention with stupid, stupid. talking about, about a man that probably put your grandfather on. 
Probably the reason that him and your grand got along A man that generated minutes on the block Get his time, never squill it to the cops Make an order, yeah Take heed, homie, homie Linda, 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 Lin